together today to do our devotion. Our text can be found in Isaiah 43, verses 15 through 19. By all means, you can read the whole chapter if you like. I do admonish you, though, during this time of consecration, um, as these devotions go forth, that you would spend time studying the words that are being presented to you, amen, and allow them to take root in your hearts. But we just want to focus on moving forward. And so I believe what the Lord was trying to get the children of Israel to remember what he had already done and how he had already parted the Red Sea and how he had already made a way for them. And so I do believe that the Lord wants to appeal to our senses, to our sight and to our hearing during this time. Our sight is our most dominant trait. 80% of what we learn is due to our perception or how we view our experiences. And so I'm sure we all can testify that we've experienced some things that we would rather maybe not have. But once again, the Lord said, but I am the Lord your God. I have already made a way. I have already brought you over and I'm desiring to do a new thing. And so what we see, it definitely can impact our lives tremendously. But once again, once we trust in the Father and believe in what his word is telling us and what is declaring, victory belongs to us. Amen. <clears throat> God also wants to appeal to our hearing. Now, our hearing is our most sensitive sense, and it allows us to connect and communicate in a way that none of the other senses can achieve. And so during this time of consecration, where we definitely have got to be sensitive to what Holy Spirit is speaking to us, it is important that we're in a place where we're not being distracted, where we're turning off of our televisions and we're turning our phones off and we're turning this flesh off, amen, so that we may get into the presence of the Lord and hear what he is saying to us in this season because he desires to speak to us, amen. He wants to speak to us, but we've got to still ourselves and we have got to settle ourselves down and get in a quiet place so that we may hear very clearly what the Lord is saying. And it's essential in this season that we hear from God. It's essential in any season that we can hear from God, amen. And we do this by a constant and consistent communication with him. And that's praying, amen. Those of our study habits, staying in the word of God so that we can continue to maintain and even build that relationship with God so that we know what he's saying to us. I'm excited that God wants to speak to me and I'm excited about speaking back to him. How about you? And so we've got to bless God and we really have got to be grateful for what he has already done. Even if you have endured some things, you have gone through some things, you have experienced some setbacks in your health and in your finances and even on your job. Come on here, somebody. But the Lord says, listen, but I already brought you through all of that stuff. I brought you over I'm making a way. I continue to make a way. And at this point, I'm doing a new thing. Verse 18 says, but the Lord says, do not cling to the events of the past or dwell on what happened long ago. Watch for the new thing I am going to do. Hey, double shot. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the new thing. He said, it is happening already. You can see it now. Again, appealing to those senses like, listen, you came through 2020, it looked real crazy. 2021 didn't look that much different, but here we are in 2022. Come on somebody and the Lord is saying yes, and I am here and I am the Lord your God. I am the Holy One and I am here to do a new thing. I don't know about you, but I am excited about the new thing that the Lord has promised in his word. This is his word. He promised it in his word. The children of Israel, he promised it too. I'm a child of God, so I, I'm receiving that promise too, amen. Aren't you grateful for a Lord that cares about you? And he's like, I know, it's, we've seen some dark days. We, we've seen some, some times that haven't been really too pleasing, but I'm here to do a new thing. So I'm just commissioning you in this time of your consecration 
as you're getting before the Lord to hear what your next steps are and to hear what he's even saying to you, even maybe about some of those things that you have experienced during this time of consecration, just allow the Lord to speak to you, but stand on his promises that are yes and amen. Be grateful for what he's already done because he's already done it. Why? Because you're still here. That's how you know he's already done it. Come on here and we are alive because there's more. Thank you, Jesus. I am grateful for my Lord and Savior. How about you? Father, once again, I thank you and I honor you even for this time of consecration, Lord Jesus. I pray that you will continue to strengthen your people, Father, as we even turn our plates over, God, that you're giving us the strength day by day to walk this thing out, to be bold soldiers in Christ. Father, thank you for fortifying us, oh God. Thank you for even giving us the courage, oh God, to move forward in this consecration, Lord. Allow our ears to be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit wants wants to say to us, Father, thank you, oh God, for even removing the scales from our eyes, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for even loving us enough to come and see about us, Father. I thank you for your word, Father. I thank you that victory is our portion, Lord. I thank you that your promises are yes and amen, Father. And we give you the praise and the glory and the honor because it all belongs to you. It's in Jesus' name that we magnify him. Amen and amen.